What's up everyone? Lance Hedrick here, and we're gonna do some more latte art today. So if you've seen my last few videos, um, I went over milk steaming recently, and I did basic, the fundamentals of latte art, so we went over latte art theory and how to pour monks and uh, hearts. I highly suggest you watching those before continuing with this video. If you've happened upon this, please go watch the milk steaming video so that your milk is nice and silky, which I've linked above. And then after that, if you haven't seen my fundamentals of latte art, linking that now. Go watch that so you can understand some of the terminology and how I specifically approach and teach latte art. Now, before continuing, I want to address something. Everyone's been asking about my pitcher uh, that I use in all my videos. It is a 15 ounce handleless round spout WPM pitcher that I get from a wonderful company called Slow Pour Supply. Now, exciting news, Slow Pour has offered to sponsor the next two latte art videos that I do. Uh, so that I can pay for the production uh, and so that I can elevate the experience. So I'm really excited and thankful for Slow Pour. Now, if you don't know about them, they started out as a milk pitcher company, but they have since expanded into other areas of coffee. Uh, they carry time more things, so uh, scales, hand grinders, things like that. And they also do cups uh, and a lot of other miscellaneous, incredible goods that you should check out. They're an incredible uh, company and they also donate a portion of their proceeds. Uh, and their goal this year is to donate 12,000 thousand dollars so check them out anita my point port person at slow pour supply is a beloved person in the coffee world and they deserve all the credit uh anyway so here are some pictures that are throughout my uh scene in my set if you like any of these go check that out i promise you uh I've used them for years without being sponsored. So this is this uh this um talking about them has nothing to do uh with the sponsorship but I'd want to bring it up and they are sponsoring me so anyway cheers Slow pour supply rocks. All right, so today we are gonna talk about stacking and wrapping. So after you learned how to do that heart and that monk's head and how rotation and all those different variables that I discussed in the last video, how they all affect the flow of your milk, the next step is to learn how to stack and how to wrap those shapes. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean solid drops, if you remember that terminology, solid drops. How do we manipulate those to wrap and to create forms that we like? All right, that's what we're about to hit in this video. Now, before getting into that, I do wanna discuss a phenomenon that happens in your cup. We talked about the concretization in that video, right? The more you pour, the more it concretizes. Something else happens with your latte art as you're filling your cup and adding more to it. Now, if we have a shape like this, all right? A shape like this where you have three layers and then two layers and then one heart at the top. So you have a group of three, a group of two, a group of one. I wanna talk about the terminology and how we discuss this type of design. In this, there are two things going on. You have tiers and you have layers. You have three tiers or groupings. I refer to them as tiers. And then you have one, two, three, four, five, six layers. So we have three tiers six layers. I just wanted that terminology out prior to continuing. Okay, so what's the purpose of that? Well, the more tiers that you put into a cup, the more stretched, stretching your, your uh, pattern is going to experience. So what that means is, in that last video I said lay your heart, where you drop in is where you want the top of your design to be, that does not apply to a multi-tiered design. It does for a multi-layer as long as it's one tier. But the more tiers you throw in, the deeper in the cup you have to go. Does that make sense? We have tiers, which are the groupings. If you're doing a three grouping design, like what I just showed you, a three, two, one, which is what that was. And the reason we call it that is because you have three grouped, you have two grouped, and you have one at the top, a three, two, one. For a design like this, for it to be centered, you would need to drop that first layer deeper in the cup, right? Remember, with a heart and a monk's head to fill up the cup with a one tier shape, you would start near the top, where you want the top of your shape to be. But for a multi-tier, you go a little bit further and a little bit deeper in the cup. Okay, so I just wanted to hit that terminology before we continue. Now, let's learn how to wrap a heart inside of a heart. I'm gonna show you how to do this, and then we're gonna look at uh, what, it, what it is in an illustration that I have made. Remember, I am not a brilliant artist with a Sharpie pen, but I did my best. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at this pour.
All right, so what did we just see? Let's take a look at it and break it down a little bit, all right? What we had here was we had our initial drop, because it was one tier, we dropped near the back, and then we slowly and low pushed forward to about right there. You see that? So if I have it broken up into halves, we started here and we pushed and rotated until it was right, almost right in the center. And then we tilted to ensure that we had that liquid back at the lip and we got behind that initial shape and we dropped another shape about a few millimeters behind that initial drop. See that? And then you push into it again. So you're pushing to the center. Do you see what I'm doing there? So my initial drop on the first one was here and I pushed. The second one, I started behind it because we wanted to wrap brown into the design. You see that? That's the brown crema. These are the white milk dots. We're pushing into it. And now if you see, I have these arrows. What happens because we have that sinkhole is as you're pushing, this is going to wrap into that sinkhole. So we're stretching it and wrapping the design, all right? So we have that first shape. Now we're pushing the second shape in. You see that? So what happens, it's kind of like, I always uh, make jokes about uh, like my belly fat. It's like when you push into belly fat, boop, it wraps around it. And that's what, that's what we're doing in the milk, is we're pushing into the fat and it's wrapping around it, all right? So you push into it and it wraps, okay? So back to this overhead. We're taking that and we're pushing into it. And then we are holding and increasing that flow. We are holding that position in the middle where the X is and we're increasing the flow faster and faster and faster and faster because the concretization is setting in. The more milk we put in, the thicker it's getting. So we're going faster and faster and faster and it's gonna keep continuing to wrap until it meets that X. And then we do our lift, our helicopter or our airplane. We lift and we pull through. So let's cut back and watch in slow motion that pour that I just did so that you can watch all of these components go in at once from your initial drop to the center dropping into that initial drop, and then holding the position in the middle, increasing your flow rate, because it's concretizing, and pulling through. So we're gonna watch that once more in slow motion. All right, so that is how we do the heart in a heart. It's a very difficult design, design if you've not done it before. And in fact, most people who are proficient at latte art still have issues doing it. But I believe if you can accomplish this, if you can learn that spacing and that drop and push, you will be miles ahead of a lot of these latte artists you see on Instagram. That is a very difficult thing to do. It's much easier when it's sitting on top of a shape. When you're filling a whole cup with a double layered heart, it is quite difficult. So if you're not getting it right away, do not worry. Ask a local barista to try it and theirs will probably look cruddy as well. I'm just telling you, it is difficult design, but I believe it's a fundamental and should be learned because it teaches you a lot about flow rate and about filling the cup with a design, okay? When you're only doing two drops, it's difficult, but you will learn a valuable lesson. All right, now we're going to get into um, a, just a three stack shape, so three tiers, all right? We're not wrapping anything, we're just gonna do a three stack shape to learn how to push, push, and separate, all right? Push, separate, push, separate, push, separate. All right, so we're gonna look into the side camera and I'm gonna um, do it and we'll talk through it. All right, so what we witnessed there is on that first pour, I dropped lower into the back of the cup. Now watch as I slowly am pushing in slow-mo that first layer to the back quarter of the cup. I'm doing that because this design is going to stretch a little. And then that second drop, I dropped near halfway mark in the cup. And then that last drop is at the very top. I lift and I'm pulling through. So as you see there, there is some stretching. Because it's not a complex shape, there's not a lot of stretching going on, but you can still see what is happening with that stretching phenomenon, all right? So that is a three-tier, three-layer shape. So learn to pour that, 
after you learn how to wrap. And now we have wrapping and stacking down, all right? It's all about that low and slow push. Now, I'm gonna show once more that low and slow push so that you can truly understand what I mean when I'm saying pushing. Uh, first, I'm gonna show you what not to do and what a problem is with that low, slow push. So it looks like this. When you get too low and you're going too quickly, you can leave a sludge mark behind. That's what we wanna get away from. Instead, it should look like this. We're gonna start our blob and then we're gonna slowly push forward with a little bit of distance between the spout and the, the surface of the liquid. All right, now we've got that three stack tulip down. Now what we're gonna do is jump to that advanced pattern I showed you at the beginning, the three, two, one. This is what I always, always tell people to do when they're having trouble wrapping their layers on tulips, when they're trying to do complicated things that require a lot of control and placement. I always recommend doing this. Literally, we're going to wrap three, we're gonna wrap two, and we're gonna top it with a heart. And we're gonna try to wrap the whole design and dropping where we can in order to have full wrappage with all of the lines touching the center. So ideally, we're gonna have a design that looks similar to this, where those three lines are wrapping well, these two are making a heart essentially, and then we have a heart sitting on top, all right? So let's see what that looks like. First, of course, I'm gonna pour it, and we're gonna look at that, and then I'm gonna break it down with my illustrations. So let's look at that side angle of me pouring it. All right, what did we just look at? Well, let's break this down on the illustration of what I did. On that first drop, because this is a three tier design, I have to drop lower into the cup. So I drop right above halfway. If you remember on the one tier, I drop back here. I'm dropping right above halfway. So you're gonna have to really get your spout as close as possible to the surface of that liquid. And then I push a little bit further, a little bit past halfway, all right? So that's my first shape push a little bit past halfway. Now, for the second shape, I'm gonna drop right around the halfway mark and push into my initial shape. And we're gonna have a little bit of wrapping begin, all right? And of course, as this crema is concretizing, as this liquid is concretizing, we have to pour faster and more aggressively. The third one, just past halfway, and I'm just giving it a little hug, and it's gonna wrap those other two around it. All right, so wrap, wrap, wrap. So we're rack, wrapping and stacking. And as you see, these are pushing, uh, the, these uh, outer layers are pushing more and more as we're uh, wrapping and stacking more. So if you, if you look, look, if you look at this, where I have my illustration, if I were to finish my design here, the heart would start where I had that initial drop in. So if we go back to the first, if you remember I say where you drop is where the top of your shape is gonna be. That's where it would be. If we just, if we finish the heart, it would be a little low in the cup, all right? So after we do that third shape, we're going to start back here where those two were beginning to wrap. We're gonna start right behind that. So as you see where they were here. So they're about right here. We're gonna start right behind that and we're gonna push a layer into that. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna immediately wrap those in so that these layers are touching. Now obviously this one is gonna stay still because we're not pushing into it. So this one's gonna be kind of like a lima bean, all right? You're never really gonna be able to get that to wrap up high unless you push this layer lower. So that is a properly wrapped layer for all intents and purposes. So we're gonna take another layer here, we're gonna push it in just a little. And then on the next one, we're gonna push it a lot more intensely to force this to wrap and dropping back here is gonna cause this to wrap even more to where it's almost leaving a perfect little slice for our final heart. So we have now wrapped this, a heart and a heart, all right? Just like we did for the main design, but it's a lot easier here because you're using a lot less milk, all right? And then on the final one, we're just gonna fill the pie with a heart. We're gonna lift and we're gonna draw through. And because of that last shape, you see how this was wrapping in? If we lift and we sink, it'll close the gap right here and will give us a nice little double heart there. And then we'll have a full design of three, two, one. All right, so we're gonna look back at me pouring it. And as we look at me pouring it, think through all those things that I just said. All right, so now we're watching it. 
Now watch that first shape be pushed in, all right? I'm pushing it all the way essentially to the back because I am anticipating that stretching. Now watch the second layer drop into it. Now we're, we're continuing with the slow motion. Watch that second layer drop into it. And you see how that first layer stretches just a little bit? And we drop that third layer and it's stretching even more. Now that we're separating with this fourth layer on the second tier, watch that base. It's gonna stretch up high because we have dropped further back. So that, think about the sinkholes. When we separate the tiers and we drop higher up, the sinkhole is higher so that that arm is gonna reach. So you see that reaching with that, uh, with that bottom layer? Now we're gonna drop a second one wrapping the second tier. And everything's gonna move a little closer wrapping inwards now because now it is stretched high and it's moving inwards. And now we have a, a little pie shape left for our final heart. We're gonna drop it and pull through as you see in that slow-mo. All right, so that is the wrapping and stacking. This one is a lot quicker tutorial because I realized y'all don't have the greatest attention spans, but that's okay. Um, I still prefer these long form videos, but we will make these shorter so that we can uh, hit it more. Please uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions. Shoot me DMs of your videos and I am getting increasingly more DMs, but I've still not missed any. So I will take those until I can't anymore, uh, but please keep sending me those DMs uh, with these shapes. I had people in the last video send me rosettas and things. Please only send me shapes that I've covered. Um, that will just uh, be better for me so I can have a certain answer that I'm gonna respond with based off of what I've taught. So work on your heart and a heart, work on your three tier singles, and then work on the three, two, one. These, regardless of your skill level, are so important to nail. I promise you it will elevate your lottery in every possible way because you're understanding how stacks work, how flow works, how concretization works, and how the malleability of that surface level works, the surface tension works, okay? Now, if you're having issues, please consider watching this video once more on getting your silky milky. A lot of people, still refuse to relook at their milk texturing because they think they have perfect milk. Humble yourself, take a look at that. Um, if, if, this is, if, you're proving to, uh, if this is proving to be really difficult. Uh, and if you are getting through this and you're like, wow, I don't think I can do any of that, watch my Latte Art Basics again, or for the first time if you haven't watched it. I promise with my Latte Art Theory, that sets up an incredible base for this video. Now, as always, please shoot that, uh, or smash that uh, subscribe button right there. That means the world to me. Uh, just take a second and do it. Um, like the video if you like it. If you dislike it, it's fine to give it a thumbs down, but please leave a comment letting me know why, just so I can better myself in my videos uh, for the future. I'm trying, again, I'm trying to make this shorter, so. Uh, but leave comment, you know, follow me on Instagram. It's just my name, at Lance Hedrick. Uh, and yeah, thanks so much for being here and uh, check out those other videos that I've made. Um, next video is gonna be how to ripple, so get ready for that. Awesome, thanks very much, cheers.